Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and this is news for December, what is it? December 9th, which today was um, something. So this is just me talking about, well basically COPPA, um, this is not political, this is not thingy, just more of, um, uh, just more freeform thoughts about the I won't say like the lifespan of the channel because I this is not a cha like channel compared to let's say other established peoples and works and whatnot this is a hobby thing definitely but even though I'm not super popular and there's probably only about maybe five of you although when I do put stuff up I do get like 200 views like over the weekend so there is so I, I do thank you for not removing me from um, your probably giant favorites list like mine as well anyway so um, Kappa, or at least new standards for Kappa will be have been or at least the commentary for Kappa has been has been the cutoff date for that is passed it will be implemented or in January but in addition to that, there's the whole YouTube making a statement of um, statement that like if the channel is not commercially viable, we may remove it, and that is on top of all the shenanigans of um, just normal YouTube shenanigans of bugs and implementation and shadow bans and all this nonsense. And I know my channel's small. It's really only known for Cubivore, and kind of as an alternative. Top ones are Cubivore, Animal Crossing, and um, maybe Adventure, Amazing Island. So it's not much, but um, it is a little piece of my life and kind of a little bit of internet history. Because if you do search for Let's Play Cubivore, at least as a blank unknown um, user, uh, what's it called, a privacy tab like um, Firefox or whatnot, I do pop up first. And I kind of acknowledge, like I haven't done Let's Plays in a long time, I also kind of acknowledge that the era of Let's Plays has gone. You know, it's... people don't, at least that sub-community from like something awful is... might be alive, but it's not as... A big thing as it used to be and now if there are going to be let's plays they're just more like YouTube famous people already and it's kind of the full like comedy show with um, a comedy uh, comedy show two guys on a couch type of deal um, I don't have to do this round again and I'm not that um, it's kind of like geo it's going I acknowledge the way that my channel is kind of like GeoCities. New technology, new culture, just kind of coming around. I'll just, you know, go to the background. Uh, but I do desire to preserve it. Possibly, or at least, I don't know. Um, I just may let it fall into obscurity, kind of like my old GeoCities um, accounts and whatnot. Because even with the whole Let's Play thing, you know, YouTube was not the best, and so the community something awful community kept switching to all the other different websites there was Vimeo and Viddler and Stage 6 and they've all come and gone YouTube has established and then now YouTube seems to be kind of pulling the YouTube Google I should say kind of like the whole Activision Blizzard or what's the other thing Linux U USB it's not everyone says Linux but it's actually supposed to be something it's two things like Linux open US something anyway it's like it's like that type of situation like it's just replaced so although I did have ideas or something it's like um, where do I preserve it if possible or do I not preserve it um, because I did have the original files on DVD backups <laughs> I haven't backed up my stuff on DVDs in about 10 years, maybe 8. 
it's more of like, oh, I'll just have it on the multiple hard drives I'm just keeping um, up for grabs and such. Because I did have another another idea that I won't do. It's you know another reason for YouTube or at least doing let's plays is um oh that's another thing to mention. Anyways, following the line of thought, another example of let's doing let's plays is that I have nieces and nephews, and that now and I acknowledge that like this generation or sub generation, you know, the generations are getting smaller is mostly due to technology. But anyways, like they're not going to play retro games or these type of games video games at all just as like me as a person who did not who grew up with nintendo and not a pinball guy i acknowledge pinball but i know there's people gen x people are thoroughly pinball crazy um the documentary is i believe called special when lit covers pinball people and it's just like you know it, it was a thing it came it's gone and kind of Okay, sarah, sarah, but you, there's still videos of enjoyment and whatnot. Something like, oh, maybe now I can do Let's Plays of classic Nintendo. Well, actually, yeah, no, I am a Nintendo fanboy, kind of, sort of. I do Let's Plays of classic um, Nintendo games that I usually avoided, such as Mario and Castlevania and Mega Man and whatnot, because I know they won't know it, but then they could just, you know, this would be my form of family home videos of uncle playing it as opposed to the popular pewds is it pewds did he actually do that type of stuff anyways uh, anyways because if they're going to play games it's going to be mobile games they're just not going to have the patience to kind of blind memorize this stuff but um what's the point of that if youtube is um the whole spiel about it's like We'll only do it if you're commercially viable, and like, I am not commercially viable. I believe this account is so old and so kind of untouched, it does not have Google AdSense enabled. Like, there's still the option for me to put on Google AdSense, even though I believe that's kind of standard for many people so far. So anyways, I know they're still streaming, but I'm just too lazy and... Life is not in the situation where I can freely do that type of stuff. Oh, I have the free time to do it. I just don't necessarily have the initiative or the gift of gab to do, say, streaming. And there's always opportunities like DLive and the Xbox One and BitChute. Like, they're all competing things. Like, the, the internet has doing another turn just as they went from GeoCities to Web 2.0 with uh, user generated content and wiki. It's sort of doing that again, which old media in its dying grasp are kind of sinking their claws in. And it may work, it may not work, it may all go bust and something else. It's, it's going to be goofy. No matter, the internet's going to be goofy in the next 50 to 200 years. We still won't know what the end result is going to be. Oh, that was stupid of me. Oh, the thing is that, uh, you know, for Let's Plays, like, I like the small user. It's, I do not like popular people. I'm lucky that, I'm lucky enough that the games that I do still search out Let's Plays for are super obscure, not super obscure games, but still, like, niche obscure games, something you would see on, like, Hardcore Gaming 101 or something. Or if it's kind of a popular game, I do kind of look for the um, uh, like third or fourth, uh, third or fourth uh, viewer. So yeah, I don't know what to do, but my contingency plan, like if I do get purged, is well, I am Tiro DVD. I've been for that. And had that kind of moniker for 2002, 2003, actually. I'm just being stupid. Oh, now Infinite continues. I think it's Infinite, maybe. Um, moniker, so I'm gonna s still keep it and whatnot. So if you kind of search for that on the internet, you'll find it. 
you all know my traits. I like obscure games, cube of war, I like monsters, um, transformation, evolution type things. Um, you know, Final Fantasy Adventure, Saga 1, 2, 3, that type of stuff. So if, if you look, you'll find me. If Cube of War gets destroyed, I will put it up somewhere. Or I was even thinking about doing that in here the month of December, but... Um, it's more like, you know... Uh, um, counting my chickens before they hatch, or nest egg, or I, I don't know. It's it's me being my normal, specific, methodical, prepared self. Like the fact that I have DVD backups of my LPs, that I have still the backups of uh, my unfinished Boktai 2, and um, what's the other one? Monster Lab. I don't think I have the save file for Monster Lab. I think I still continue playing it or doing something. Change bash or spell up. Down change spell dash. No, I... Stupid analog stick. Anyways. So... So yeah, that's, that's it. No. Um, I have a Twitch account. I was even almost surprised that I would possibly lose a Twitch account because now it's mandatory two-factor authentication and I do not have a cell phone, I just have a landline. So to do that with Authenticate, an app, and it's like there's no user base or I should say there's like no user access code thingy, it's like an automatic generated ID and I can't back up that information even though it's running off my computer and, and profile and Hypothetically, there's no need to back up because it's dealing with the phone number, but two factor auth factor authentication I disagree with because I deal with legacy devices and like it's very nice that you have Windows what is it, Windows ten and like you need two th factor authentication for um for wireless networks and printers and whatnot, but you're using a printer from the year two thousand ten that has wireless but not the actual processing power for two-factor authentication so as you send the print job you send this weird uh, data that the printer doesn't know what to do and just crashes and even worse is like it's all sent to the one guy to the oh, like the accountant's phone and like uh, like the office the office ladies and the administrative assistant they do not want to call the accountant who only comes once a week to do to get permission to print out papers Idiots. Anyway, or even other fiascos about um, Google's like you know uh, accounts being lost in in something, and um, yeah, there we go. Go with the sword. The account being you get access to the account and you change everything with not using you change from you change administrative privileges with out the password or the two factor phone call it's like then what's the the, the plowing thing anyways it's more of i'm still out here on the internet the interwebs um if cuba war if i get purged or or kind of called out i will put cuba war up somewhere and that's probably where you can find me not that i think anybody wants to uh, retrace that type of thing. You know, like, Let's Plays are a one-and-done deal. Or at least now that I'm more into, definitely into adulthood. There's the uncanny factor that, like, I did acknowledge that, like, in adulthood, like, everything you've done is always, is filed in your brain as a year ago. Last year. Maybe two years tops. As opposed to having school and grades to delineate everything constantly. And so I'm finding more and more that with games that they are kind of a one and done deal with me. Like I play it, I beat it, and I will never have to want to play it again because I still have the memories of it. And the memories of it playing it is actually last year, even though it's literally been 10 years ago. Such as like the Wii is 10 years old, Mario Galaxy is 10 years old. It's 
frightening. Um, uh, frightening in a good way. So all that jazz. So yeah, this is kind of a high buy, not a swan song, just more of a other other thingies. Cause like I'm still it's like not the video hobby, but like I like new things and like the latest new thing I've did, which I possibly was gonna be for this video. I'm just not paying attention. Is I did a hacking with a three, new 3DS and I could stream 3DS games like on Twitch from my 3DS. I kind of figured and tinkered the way to do that. I'm doing it my ghetto way of um, faking a wireless network because I'm in um, my home is uh, a dead zone is the dead zone for Wi-Fi. Um, my room especially. So I'm like. Oh, and that's the other thing. Like, I could stream 3DS games, stream record 3DS games, eShop games, but not DS games. Not off the the thingy. It's it's it, the technique is like if you play the DS game or DSI where stuff they actually shut the 3DS shuts down to that primitive state so it doesn't have the the, the software running in the background for the record for the sh sending of the video information and recording. So stuff. And it would actually be super retro because it's like JPEGs and you would have to... It just reminded... The technique really reminded me of like Hypercam. It was like, oh, I don't actually choose the codecs. I have to actually choose the compression quality. And it will be probably very much like my Adams Family Let's Plays. I think um, definitely the... The uh, the boss fight with uh, Pugsley, the Mad Doctor, like there's lots of artifacting. And that's because I was still kind of tweaking with the you only choose a compression not the act nothing uh, uh, the, the, this random arbitrary number for quality of the recording so that type of stuff so it's like oh this would be super retro amazing. and also to play DS games possibly as using the stylus um, stylus controller type of deal oh mouse kind of works but not so much it's like it's like drawing with a papers pen and paper is better than with the, the mouse or whatnot so yeah um, I don't know uh, and also there's a thing that my 3ds games are all RPGs which are not good streaming or even let's play quality because of just all the the length of what of what it is and whatnot I still need to play and beat Arc Rise Fantasia anyways so I think I, I am gonna be might be able to defeat this boss yeah so until next time I am Tiro, and have fun gaming. So, in general, this is not a goodbye or spinal sign-off. This is a until we meet again. See ya.